Hey guys, it's Joanna from Nesting Story, and today I'm gonna to be continuing my purging journey. Today was our big kids first day back to school. Um, they're going into first grade and third grade, and there were mixed emotions today, but I'll tell you, <laughs> I was not ready and I don't mean like emotionally not ready I was emotionally ready for them to go back I am talking about um, <laughs> I really really dropped the ball with the whole back to school thing as you guys know I was under the weather last week and um, I kind of that threw me off my game a bit and all weekend we were scrambling to put outfits together to pull school supplies together and I was determined to not go and spend money until I had gone through what we already have. Instead of bringing new things in, I needed to figure out what we had. So we were able to scrounge stuff together. I did not spend any money on school supplies or anything. Um, I had We dug up some old pencil cases and pencils and were able to put clothes together despite a red crayon making it into our laundry on the weekend. So as I was pulling the kids stuff together, it hit me how long it's been since I've actually purged their room and I can barely close their drawers. Our twins are desperate too. I went to dress one of our twins today and there's a big hole in her pants and I'm going to put that off for another day. I have about an hour until school pickup to see what I can get done. So today I'm gonna to try to get done our craft cupboard and purge both of our big kids' rooms in terms of the clothes. I will be trying to do the Conry method in their rooms and go by category, but right now I have to focus on their clothes and I'd love to get that craft cupboard done. Okay, here I am in my daughter Bo's room. It's messy, she's six years old and we have a very hard time keeping this room clean. If there's one of my kids that's a pack rat, it's Bo, and um, I really need to help her try to get rid of about 50% of what she has because I don't, it's not a big room and it's very hard for her to keep clean. I'm doing what I did with my room, it works really well. Black bag is for garbage and the clear bag is for hand-me-downs. She has two little sisters, so anything that's still good will be put away for them. I'm gonna pull everything out in the middle of the room and go from there. Okay, here are all her clothes. Her drawers were spilling out. Um, a lot of this though, I know she can't wear. I think it's too small. A lot of it is really destroyed with paint or holes. So I think I can get rid of a lot of it. Okay, I'm done. Um, yeah, I have a lot of hand-me-downs here and not a lot of clothes, so I think I need to go back to school shopping for her pretty soon, but I'm really glad I did this first because I don't want to like duplicate things that we already have. I'll show you what we have. This is all of Bo's clothes, which is not that much. Uh, there's a few dresses in the closet and there's some pajamas in her drawer. This is the big bag of hand-me-downs for her sisters and this is the bag of garbage. Okay, so now I've moved on to Holden's room. His drawers are just jam-packed and I know most of that doesn't, he doesn't wear or doesn't fit him. I can barely get his laundry in. So I'm gonna again pull everything out and go through everything and see what we can get rid of. Okay, there it is, there's all his clothes. Time to purge this, this will be good. This is the one that's been driving me very crazy. Okay, here's Holden's clothes. So all of this is good, all of this is good. This big pile here is hand-me-downs and actually there was no garbage. He has not destroyed any clothes other than some socks, yay. Okay, I'm out of time right now, but I'm not gonna stop. I have to go get my big kids from the first day of school and see how it went, and then I think I'm gonna do more purging when they come back. Let's hope they had a great day. Okay, it is now the next day. I needed to give my kids my focus. It was their first day of school, so back at it today. I've got some other work done already today, and I'm like, okay, let's keep the ball rolling. I also just picked up this, and I'm gonna pick up more magazines. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while and I've been talking about this a bit and I've done these videos before, twice a year I would say, fall and spring, I go through my wardrobe, which you guys know I've purged, I figure out what I have, then I go and get magazines and I pin stuff and I put, I get, I kind of like figure out what's in that season, what colors are in and figure out what my style's gonna be that season. 
then I pull out all my wardrobe and see what I can, how I can create those outfits. And then I make a list of the items that I need to go get. I should also mention that I always shop in stores. I like don't shop online. I've actually, I was telling, who was I telling someone recently, a couple people, and they were like, you don't shop online? You need to get with the program. I don't know, I'm so old school. I need to go there and like actually put shoes on, outfits on, see things in person, see the quality before I can commit. I also know I'm not very good if something's come into my house and I need to return it. I am terrible at that. So I don't want to order something and then if it doesn't work out, it be on me to now send it out of my house again. I need to make the decision in the store. So I don't know, I don't know if stores are gonna become obsolete at some point and that this will not always work, but anyways, that's what I do. So on Monday, I believe I'm gonna go do my shop. I'm gonna, this, and this will be my next Wednesday video is how I do my like warm weather to cool weather switch over with my wardrobe, what styles I'm gonna go for. So I'm loving all of your comments and I'm reading all of them and I'm trying to catch up with all of them. And um, I read one yesterday that was like a really good question. So now that I'm purging, how am I going to break old habits and keep from bringing everything in? What is my plan? What am I doing? I've already had some few real life situations um, that I've been, I've encountered this whole like, do I spend money? Do I not spend money? I've twice now gone and at a store put Tupperware into my cart and has, have been about to go buy it thinking oh i've lost all the lids i need new stuff but then put it back knowing i actually haven't gone through my cupboard and i'm pretty sure i probably do have a, enough tupperware i have enough for the school year i may get a bento box at some point just because that's the way my daughter eats but I don't think I need more Tupperware. I think I need to clean out my cupboard and anything that doesn't have a lid or a lid doesn't have a bottom, it's it's going out the doors. I'm gonna do finally do our craft cupboard, which is like scary at this point. But when it comes to bringing more things into the house, I'm not falling into the old trap of if I just assuming I need to go get new stuff before I go through what I have. Um, if new things are going to come in, I need to figure out what I need first. And so, um, and that was my old habit, was I wouldn't go through clothes or go through a cupboard and double check if I do have what I need or do I really no need to go get that item. Really think it through. I'm also putting off shopping trips. So before I would kind of last minute go and go shopping, if I felt like I've been working at my desk too long and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just break up the day and go shopping or something. It was a really bad habit and it was very, last minute and I would convince myself that I deserved it and I would bring in more and more stuff into our house. So another thing I'm doing is delaying any kind of shopping trips for a couple days so that the idea of what I need really sits and um, I'm not just spur of the moment trying to fill some hole and go shopping. Mike and I are also discussing purchases and we always have been really good about discussing any purchases for the house but I think we are more than ever listening to each other. As soon as one of us has doubts, we're not like arguing for that thing. We're like, you know, you're totally right. So that's the other thing is we're making sure that we're checking in and we're really, we're really thinking through each purchase we're making. Okay, so I've done these covers before. The baby locks on them, which can probably come off soon. But oh, things just get shoved in here. It's just, oh my gosh. I'm gonna pull everything out and I want to put back in, oh, I'm saying less than half of this. Yeah, I'm gonna do less than half. It should be almost empty in here because I want our kids to do crafts. They haven't even been doing coloring their crafts lately. Okay, so I'm trying to organize as I go. I know it's not the Conray method, but I just, this is the only way I can really clean out a craft cupboard. Look what I found in here, oh my gosh. Like, I just threw out all the junky dried up stuff and the garbagey broke, broken uh, pencils and everything like that. Look, brand new things. Brand new untouched pack of markers, brand new stickers, brand new notebooks. And look, so I've been organizing. I had these green bins with all the markers and everything. It just wasn't working. So I've just organized all the good stuff. I'm getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff. So it's really, really, really manageable. And 
it's done. Let me show you how much is left. I definitely got rid of more than half of everything in there. I'm so excited. My kids are gonna be so excited to do some coloring after school. So these bins, in case you're wondering, I got a while ago at Ikea. They're just simple containers, but I like that there's little compartments. So what I can now do is actually place the whole bin on our table while they color. So good, I think this made so much more manageable. I think I was trying to keep too much stuff in there. Okay, this is it. This is the bag of recycling. I filled a bag of garbage there, and then I'm moving this to Bo's room. So that's it for purging for this week. And I am most definitely going to continue. In fact, would you like to see a sneak peek of areas I haven't touched yet? I'll show you, I'll show you. You'll see, you'll be like, ah! and you know I've purged these covers before, but I didn't do it right. I didn't do it right. I like cleaned them out, but I didn't properly purge them. Let me show you. Like, why is there a t-shirt in there and like little toys and like who uses those mugs? There's just so much stuff shoved in here and I don't even know what it is. Just shoved. This is like Mike's cupboard. He just shoves things in here and like really, I don't know. There's so, we have to purge this one. Like it's just disgusting. Anyways, you get the idea. Um, our garage is in really bad shape. Even these areas, like this is overflowing. That's overflowing. Like I just, I just need to keep going. So that huge purge you guys saw with the 1-800 got junk truck, um, I didn't even enter that area of our house. I was going to like closets mostly. I think that's basically what it did. Closets and basement was that truck. But there's so much more accumulation in our house that I need to go through. And like I said, I, we just need to change our mindset of how we purchase things, when we go shopping, cleaning things out before we go and get something new and bringing it in to make sure if we have a duplicate, saying to ourselves, do we really need that? And delaying shops. So I will show the kids reaction of the craft cupboard and them enjoying it on Friday's vlog. So make sure you subscribe and watch that one. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.